says the Fatima prophecies, although approved, are not obligatory. <laughs> Why are the period of peace and the great monarch continually cited when there is no biblical reference for either one of these events? Mm -hmm. I would infer from the question that the questioner is a Protestant because the Protestants have the principle sola scriptura, mm -hmm. that all that Christ really left us was the scriptures as the guide to faith. And if it's not in the pages of sacred scripture, even explicitly in the pages of sacred scripture, then it is not worthy of belief. Of course, the Catholic Church teaches that sacred scripture and sacred tradition are the pillars of divine revelation and that actually they have called even a symbiotic relationship. The church existed before the first word of the first gospel was written down. Almost 10 years the church existed before the first word of the first gospel was written down, at least that we historically know of it, the gospel of St. Matthew. Yet the church was doing its work, the apostles were fulfilling Christ's command to preach the gospel, administer the sacraments, right, sanctify, to baptize, and to consecrate his body and blood in the Blessed Sacrament and Holy Mass and so on. The church was doing this before the New Testament scriptures were even begun, let alone finished, you know. It is simply not true to say that all that Christ left us was the sacred scriptures. The church existed before any New Testament scripture was written. And when the New Testament scriptures were written, they were actually writing down what the apostles were preaching. The preaching of the apostles is part of Catholic tradition. So when tradition was written down and recorded in the four Gospels we have, then we know that this is a case of, of sacred tradition giving, giving us the sacred scripture of the four Gospels. Anyway, it is a false premise to say that scripture alone contains the truth of God, and that's all we have to go by right now. Because Christ promised the Holy Ghost, and he promised that what the Holy Ghost would do is keep us faithful to what Christ himself had taught. And this is sacred tradition, again, coming down through the centuries, the work of the Holy Ghost. But the, the, the question concerning the period of peace mentioned at Fatima, to my knowledge, I, I've never seen the idea of a, the great monarch mentioned in connection with Fatima. Right or anything Our Lady said at Fatima, or anything for that matter that Our Lady said to, to little Jacinta when she was hospitalized in Lisbon before her death. I don't recall any mention of a great monarch in that, so I'm not sure how that is mentioned in connection with Fatima there. But it is true that when Lucia revealed what Our Lady had said in the apparition of July 1917, and she says, Our Lady said that there would be a period of peace granted. She said in the end, her Immaculate Heart would triumph. She said that. And so those who receive the judgment of the Church, that this is credible and worthy of belief, it's not part of public divine revelation, it's a private revelation, it's true. But the Church tells us there's nothing contrary to the faith in what was revealed here. And it is worthy of belief that it really is a message from heaven. Certainly, Catholics do accept that. It doesn't mean they're heretics if they don't, but it just means that it is, well, exactly as the Church says, credible and worthy of belief, and it is in, in accord with the faith. Uh, the great monarch that came up later on in prophecy from some various holy souls who the Church recognizes as being holy souls, the prophecy of the great monarch, and uh, there are many other prophecies about, like the three days of darkness and so on, and again, these are private revelations that the Church has held somewhat favorably in history and uh, that there is nothing contrary to belief about it. If one chooses not to believe it, though, it's not as though he's denying a doctrine of faith. So the fact that it's mentioned repeatedly is simply because, again, people find it very credible and very hopeful, and they find nothing in that belief that is contrary to what we do know infallibly through the teaching of the faith itself. So, simple as that, really.